imagine that we have three activities of one hour each. Two in class activities, and one out of class activity. Remember that they have different colors depending on its type, in class or out of class. The first in class activity, has 20 minutes of professor's presentation to the whole class, and then, students have 40 minutes for working in pairs, elaborating a concept map. Note that this task will be evaluated. Then, after class, students have to do an individual homework activity, it will be graded, and logically, professor will not be present. Note that the task correspond to applying level of the Bloom's taxonomy. Finally, the next day, students come back to class, where the first and last 20 minutes, professor do a presentation. Whereas in between, all class correct the homework on the board with the help of the teacher. Note that in the two in-class activities, the teacher uses the same PowerPoint as a resource. Once we know the scenario, let's see what the design analytics can provide. We'll click on the graphs button on the right side of the editor to open the analytics area. The analytics are divided in different categories. The first category allows us to see which percentage of time will be devoted in class or out of class. In our example, we can see that 120 minutes, which corresponds to a 66% of the total time, will be in class. Whereas the time for the activities out of class will be 60 minutes, the 33% of the total. Note that the two colors of the graph follow the same color code of the activities type in the timeline. We can change the homework time, for example, adding one hour more. And note that the graph, will update automatically. Let's let one hour homework, as before. The next four categories, correspond to the same parameters of the task header. The first one is related to the type of tasks according to the Bloom's taxonomy. The second is related to the type of collaboration activity, individual, group, or the whole class. The third category is about the teacher presence, face to face, online, or not present. And the fourth, is about the assessment, if the task is graded, not graded, or it's an auto evaluation task. If we click on the tasks category, we'll see that in our example, we have 60 minutes of neutral tasks. 60 minutes of understanding tasks and 60 minutes of applying tasks in global. But if we click on the second button of the graph, it will show us the analytics depending on the type of activities. In this case, we have that out of class students will do an applying level, whereas half of the total time of the activities in class will be devoted to understanding level. Regarding the type of students tasks, we have 60 minutes of individual tasks. 40 minutes of group activities and 80 minutes of tasks to be done by the whole class together. But if we click on the second button of the graph, we'll see that, mainly, students will work individually at home, whereas in class they'll work on groups or they'll do tasks for the whole class, for example, listening the theory presentation by the teacher. Regarding the teacher presence, we observe that during class hours, teacher is present. Whereas during the out-of-class activities, teacher is not present, neither online. About the evaluation, we state that 55% of the tasks will be evaluated. It corresponds to the total time of the out-of-class activities and 33% of the in-class activities. Attention! Note that if we let this area open when we are editing the activities, the graphs will switch automatically, showing the category which we are editing on the activity area. This allows us to take informed decisions while we design, as we can check the analytics during the design process and know in all moment what's happening. Oops. Sorry. The last tab isn't still operative. This is a prototype. Very soon, it will show the time allocated for each learning objective, as well as we'll be able to see each category depending on the learning objectives, by clicking on the third button of each tab, which it's not yet operative either. Okay. Ed Crumble also provides us analytics per activity. Let's see it. In this case, to activate the design analytics per activity, we need to click on the statistics button of the timeline menu, on the top right corner. Wow. Suddenly, the time between the activities has disappeared and the activities have more colors than before. 
Note that at the bottom of the timeline has appeared also a legend. We'll start deactivating all statistics, by clicking on the None button, and then, we'll activate one by one to know them a bit more. We'll start by activating the Bloom's Taxonomy Levels menu. Now, each activity has the colors of the different taxonomy levels depending on what we configured on the activity's headers. As darker the color is, more higher level on the Bloom's Taxonomy which means that a higher cognitive level is needed to do the task. Note that the time proportions are kept. For example, in the first task, we had 20 minutes of neutral task and 40 minutes of understanding, so the understanding line is longer. If we look at the second in-class activity, we'll see that the order of the tasks has kept also. Even if there are two tasks of the same level, in this case separated by an understanding task, if we want to see the global analytics per activity, we can click on the global button and suddenly, we'll see that the two separate neutral tasks, are now together. The other menus work the same. We can activate the student's collaborative work button. In this case, as darker the green is, more people is involved on the task. The menu of the teacher presence. In this case, as darker the orange color is, more teacher presence. Note that here it's easy to see that teacher is present in class and not present out of class. And finally, the assessment menu. In which, as darker the red color is, more evaluated the task is. The last menu, which is the only one which has a clip icon on the top right corner, is related with the resources. If we click on it, we'll see that the resources icons on the timeline suddenly got colorful. It allows us to distinguish between the teacher resources and student resources. Last, note that we can activate more than one menu at the same time for analyzing certain design aspects. For example, if we activate the collaborative work button and the assessment one, we'll see, from the visualization, that only the group tasks and the individual tasks will be evaluated. The all class tasks will not count for the evaluation. That's all for now. See you in the next video.